Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to episode 3 of my Java Cam tutorial. Um, sorry I've not been recording, uh, releasing videos in a while, um, yeah. I can't really come up with any excuses, I guess I was just lazy. But, I'm back now, hopefully my audio is fixed, I am trying out a new format, sorry if the quality's different, um, sorry if it doesn't work, um, <laughs> I'm saying um a lot, um, 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 anyways, so... What are we going to do in this episode? In this episode, we are going to set up our tiles. Um, these tiles are going to be what make up our world. So, um, once we're done that, we're also going to get into the really fun stuff, and we're going to create a world that is actually randomly generated. So that's going to be fun. We're also going to get into the realm of algorithms soon. So, anyways, in this episode, we're just going to get the simple tile class done as well as the ability to finally load images into our game. So, I think we should get started. First thing we want to do is we want to go right here where our project is, our project name. We want to right click, we want to go to a new, and we want to create a new source folder. Alright, so this is going to be called res, as in resources. Um, these res This is going to be where we save all of our tile textures, and all of that stuff. So, I already have my tile textures. Um, so, you can get these probably down in the description. I will link them somehow. Um, they're super, super, super simple. They're just a simple grass and a sim simple dirt. That's where get what we're going to get started off with. Um, but yeah, pretty much today we're going to create the ability to load these in. So, um, now, we want to create a new class. We can, we're going to make a new um, package for this, call this Tools. Um, and the name of it is going to be uh, Loader. Okay. Now, this is going to have a public, static, um, buffered image, load, resource. Um, we're going to have to make sure we import that. Now what this is going to take is it's going to take a string, path, okay, and it's also going to need a string, file type. And now here comes the fun stuff. So we're going to create a new buffered image, okay. Actually, when I think about it, we can just return a new buffered image. Okay. And, oh, let me quickly change my keyboard back. Okay, so this buffered image is going to have to take some values, right? We have our path and our file type up here, so it's going to be super simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to do image io dot read and then we're going to have to type get class dot get class loader dot get resource oh and we have yep yeah, okay make sure because these are methods so make sure you have that get class loader dot get resource okay and now in here, we're going to put our path. And then we're going to add a dot. And then we're also going to add the file type. There we go. So, now we have a problem for some reason. Um, hmm. Okay, so that's weird. Let's see if we can get find a workaround for it. Okay. Buffered. Oh my gosh. Buffered image. Image. Equal. Um, and then equals. And we'll copy all of this stuff. 
down to here. There we go. Closing bracket. There we go. And then we'll just, instead of returning a new image, we'll just return the image. Now the problem here, cannot make a static reference. Okay. So, now we have another problem. Okay, we, this is super simple. Let's just surround it with the try catch block. Okay. So, now we have another image. Um, okay, it equals a new buffered image. Sorry about that. Now let's, oh gosh. This, this here does not matter actually. It's just needed to stop any problems. So just do that right here. It gets reset down here. Anyways, so it's not a problem, not a problem. There we go. We are done our loader class. Okay. So now let's cr we're going to create a new class and this is going to be called tile. Okay? And right after we create this, we're going to have to create a new a new a new another class um called tile type. Well, hopefully you guys know what enums are. Um, so, if you don't, um, I'll explain them the as best I can in just a second. So, what we're going to have to do is, at the very top, where it says public class, we're going to change it to public enum tile type. Now, this is a special kind of class where you can pretty much hold, um, types. It's, okay, um, let's see if I can find a description. So, what we do here is we put in grass and we put in dirt. Now this is pretty much reference. It's gonna make stuff really easy so then you can just um, it's just kind of a reference. Um, it has other features too. For example you can give it constructors. For example you could give it a color. But we're just gonna have it um, just simple so it makes stuff a lot easier. Um, it's just kind of an organization thing. It's not needed, but it really helps. So, anyways, that's the whole class. That's done, actually. That's completely done. So, there we go. So, whew, now we have our tile. This tile is going to need a lot. So, first it's going to need a public static final int size. Now, this is going to equal 32. So, that's the size of every tile. Now, it's going to need a public um int x and a public int y then it's going to need a public buffered image image and finally it's going to need a public boolean is solid there we go. That is all of our variables that we need. So now let's create the constructor for it. Yay. <laughs> so this is super duper simple. All you have to do is pass in these variables. So we're going to need the int x, the int y, the, um, the buffered image, and the boolean is solid. There we go. So now we're going to set this dot x equals to x, this dot y equal to y, this dot image equal to image, and then this dot is solid equal to is solid. Now, one last one thing I need to say: um, the is solid is currently going to be completely useless. We don't need it yet, but once we get into collision detection we are going to need it so that's why it's here anyways now we're going to need a public void tick and a public void render which is going to take our graphics 2d g object there we go so now we have to add functionality this really doesn't need anything just yet, so we can do this. This is going to be probably for collision detection and, it, and if we have animations, that kind of stuff. This here is going to be the golden part of this. We're going to need to do g dot draw image, right? 
um, and then we will select this one right here. We're going to have to draw it at x, at y, at width, at height, and the end can be null. Now, no, not width and height, because we have our size variable. Uh, there we go, and there we go. Now, we have to figure out what the problem is. Right. <laughs> we also have to have the image at the beginning. Um, so, there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. In this episode, we did not get anything done on the graphical side. Um, all we got done is we created the tile. And, whoopsies, we have completely forgot to use our enum. So, we're going to do a public tile type. Tile type. There we go. And we're also going to have to take that in the constructor, believe it or not. So, tile type, tile type, and this dot tile type equals tile type. There we go, that was just a simple little final thing we did. So anyways, this episode we got our loader done, which will allow us to load images. We got our enum, which will allow us to easily sort all of our um, tiles. And we set up the tile base class, which will simply um, be very useful for creating new tiles and stuff like that. In the next episode, we are going to be creating our world. And we're going to create using uh, not even an algorithm just yet. We're going to use randoms to generate a random world, which is going to be super fun. So thank you, everybody, for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.